also want to thank you for the, uh, for the very nice award, which will look pretty nice in my office. <laughs> if you've been at my office, <clears throat> you'll notice I have uh, oh, a few pictures, but a lot of cars and motorcycles and things uh, that I collect. I don't collect many of these, so it'll be very nice to have this on the wall uh, as a, as a re remembrance of 2011. Um, I also want to, again, just thank you for, for the opportunity to be here and, and to receive the award. It doesn't seem like maybe we did enough to deserve it, but uh, we did what we could. I do want to say I'm impressed also with this group of students today, as I saw you just briefly uh, talking about the upcoming caucuses and the fact that you're hopefully going to be involved with that, because that's what leads to the process of people being elected and representing you wherever you live, and uh, hopefully you can impress on them the need to support higher education and jobs here in Minnesota. That, I think, will be a real focus of this coming session, is jobs in the economy. Because that's what you want, and that's what we need you to do. We need you to go out and work hard, earn a lot of money, and unfortunately pay some taxes. Um, I, I was just thinking, as a student, you maybe don't think that you have much influence, but you're represented very well as your organization at the Capitol. And I was just thinking, um, the one time that I got into trouble with the Commissioner of Education, uh, this is not higher education, K-12, because I listened to a high school student who had an issue, and I thought as a lesson for him, a social studies lesson that I will do what I can to help him achieve what he wanted as far as K-12 education. So I offered an amendment in committee. And I tell you, the Commissioner of Education about went off of her chair. <laughs> and she came over to me and she said, what are you doing? Why are you listening to a student? And, you know, it was sort of a shock that she would have that attitude. That because I was listening to a student, I was doing something wrong. And it turned out okay. Um, I think we got along okay with this individual also afterwards, because that's the first time we've had any, which I'd say, differences of opinion. So we do listen, and, and as individual students too, we listen to you. So I, I hope that as you continue in school this year and move through the year, that uh, if there's something that you feel your senator or legislator needs to hear, directly from you, uh, feel free to do that, because that's why they're there. And you can also contact me anytime as well. So um, I, I, when, when I found out about this, I thought that must be a mistake. Uh, and I, I, I guess that's the Norwegian in me that uh, <laughs> must be somebody else. You know? But unfortunately, this is, this is the only guy with, with the name of Bud. <laughs> we did have a Bud Heigerkin for a while in the legislature. We had a, our own Bud Bacchus, <laughs> Bud Light, and then that was also Bud uh, Regular. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm still there to see enough. Anyway, again, I thank you very much. This is my first chance to be at your campus, and uh, it looks like a great place to, to get an education. I'm impressed by the size of the crowd here tonight. And again, I want to thank you very much for 